Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to replace the clutch in the Suzuki SV1000. First of all, uh, we will, we will uh, take it off the bottom plastic cover, unscrew it two bolts from this side and uh, another two from another side. Take it off the liquid. Now we're gonna drain the uh, cooling uh, liquid from the um, water pump. It's a special, special, uh, special bolt, which is uh, like I think six mil. You just take it off, and uh, you, you use the funnel or something like that, some container to, to drain drain this completely off. Just be patient until all the liquid is gonna uh, be drained off and all this uh, cooling system will be empty. When the all liquid drain, drain down completely off just uh, need to put that uh, uh, plug plug back to the hole and tidy it again what we're gonna do now we're gonna take the water hoses off from the uh, of the bolts from the water pump. Now we need a bit of fiddling side by side and pull it off the pump and that's it. Now we got better access uh, to take off the small, small pipe, small hose. Uh, while the pump is off, now is uh, better access to do it. Just do it now. Take it off this thing. Next stage is to take off all the bolts around the uh, clutch cover, and then we're gonna take off the uh, that cover off and inspect the clutch inside, and then we're gonna take it off the clutch. We're gonna do the fast forward now to speed up the process a little bit, so don't, don't get boring too much. Now we take off the. Uh, clutch cover and uh, good advice uh, drain the oil before you do that because it's uh, it's gonna you know spill uh, around the um, floor now we're gonna take off the precious uh, pressure plate springs off with the bolts and then we're gonna have ready to take off the uh, clutch plates Now I'm gonna use the air gun to take off the main uh, clutch basket nut and then you can pull off the whole clutch off. Now it's time to investigate the clutch and how you can see all the springs inside the bucket. This basket is, is like, you know, uh, uh, they shake in and then, then they make the noise, you know. The main problem with these clutches is like 
this uh, gear ring is not is like uh, not in the center and you can see how big play is on this thing this is uh, this is like the common problem with the clutches you need to be repaired or replaced hello guys uh, new clutch just arrived from the company who make the air conditioning of the clutches for the motorbikes this clutch is from that s3000 suzuki uh, how you can see they replace the the rivets with the bolts what they did if you can see this they make new the ring which is make this thing doesn't move anymore side by side is exactly in the center which is uh, they, they put uh, new new springs stronger springs uh, they, they, they give me as well new washers both side and of course all new clutch plates you see all, it's all new this is ready to fit to be fit what we're gonna do in a minute okay now we're gonna start to fit the clutch uh, lubricate the washer first washer uh, put it in and lubricate again now we can put the bearing on also put a bit of oil on it Basket on. Make sure it's gonna catch all the gears, especially the gear from the pump, uh, oil pump. Now lubricate the other washer, which is between the clutch basket and the uh, and the, and the clutch. Uh, how this called clutch uh, plates. Now we in insert the uh, center bead, and uh, this device. Uh, it's called the uh, anti-hop device, fit it in as well, put the new washer in a minute, yeah, it's new washer, now we're gonna put the nut, uh, put it a bit of the Loctite, bolt Loctite, it doesn't gonna harm anything, and uh, now we pre-tight the nut with some effort, and then, then we're gonna put uh, exact force to, to tighten it uh, that part. we're gonna see in a minute just pre-tight it now. Okay. now we're gonna tighten it properly uh, with the 95 newton meters okay now we're gonna put the One is like a little bit off, and now we're gonna start uh, putting the clutch plates. We're gonna do it in a fast fo forward, a little bit of time lapse to not get boring too much. One by one. Okay. small tap and we're gonna secure the nut now we're gonna reassemble the the clutch and with the springs have a look one by one we can put pre tight with uh, some uh, electric drill something like that. a little bit just a little bit because we're gonna do uh, like we're gonna tighten it with the proper uh, torque after all Now have a look how uh, clutch works uh, when we press the clutch lever. See? 
now we're gonna tie the spring bolts with uh, 10 newton meters uh, torque 10 newton meters remember every one of it side by side now we're ready to put clutch cover back we can do this gently before we do that, just clean the gasket or put new gasket. In my case, I, I leave it in all gasket because it's really, really good condition. Just clean it properly. And I bet it's not gonna leak any, anything. But you can do as you as you wish. You know. Put the um, clutch uh, cover there. Move a little bit of the pump, the water pump. And, and then the pump is gonna just slide in the slot. Exactly, see like this. Now we can put the bolts and start tightening up. Let's do it in some faster speed to don't get bored. Reassemble all the bolts, nuts the hangers for the for the pipes like this you can see and just tie it side by side pre-tight it now we refit the water pipes because now we got better access to that uh, the bigger one, which is behind the water pump, you can see, just tied it up, and now with the smaller one, is uh, when it's pump off, is is better access to you know to just put the uh, spring on the pipe, you know, and that, that clips, and now we can fit the pump back and put uh, some. Uh, Put all the bolts back. Of course, do the side by side. Perfect. And tight all the bolts uh, about seven newton meters, and then his job is done. And also, don't forget uh, after all this job to put uh, new oil and filter because the old clutch produced some uh, metal particles, some some dirt, and it's best to change this thing anyway. And of course, put a new uh, liquid, uh, cooling liquid, and that's it. John, so you can write with no noise, with no shaking on the clutch because you got a lot of vibration with when it's clutch wear, uh, wear like this and uh, once I fit this new clutch and bike don't vibrate anymore and it's riding beautiful you know. thank you guys for, for watching this film and uh, I wish you all good all luck with your jobs and with your bikes take care bye